actually we came shopping for a newborn so one of my husband's friends put to bed and um, we came to chop some things we will be giving to the child so <laughs> this is perfume from Granite. Oh my god. The perfume I just spread them. I was trying to say something different. I don't even understand. Is that the smelling kai kai? That's one. What do you guys think? I don't know. Yes. Mama, wait. Good afternoon, sir. No, no. We are trying to clear the backyard for summer. Yes. I've seen another one. Yeah, and the ball as well. There are so many in this place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'm videoing you, Mama. Me? So we've just cleared some of the this thing we we were able to get rid of some of the leaves and grasses we were able to get rid of so hopefully from now until when summer comes we're gonna um, clear some so we've just sorted out some of the dry sticks over there that we might use maybe during summer for barbecue and stuff and then these ones are here so these heaps of uh, grass and some leaves will be here when they dry we might put them in the bin or burn them it depends but there are so many tongues in this them things so we've just been careful and conscious to make sure we don't injure ourselves while doing all of them and this one here my husband have tried to get rid of some of the parts the ones that is across our fence but it's quite difficult, but we'll still get there, Sha. We'll get there before summer. All these things, at least during summertime, we'll have enough backyard, back space to be doing, to be having fun, playing with the kids and all that. This trampoline is still contemplating. Don't know if we should take it out and get a smaller one, but this one is just big. It's just occupying the whole backyard space. I don't understand, honestly. Yes. You are right, Mama. Yes. Hi, guys. I don't even know if you guys can see me, but just packed out the car park and um, I'm going to get a ticket. So, literally, I'm telling exam to the presentation and a discussion exam. So, I've just finished it and uh, decided to come to the city centre to get some fruits and vegetables. Because the one we had is already finished. Oh, now I've forgotten the car plate number. Let me just check. So I've just bought my ticket now. So literally, when you pack it, you... Oh my God, this my wig is something else. Sorry, guys. Please don't look at my hair. It's a, it's a mess. So that's the ticket. I'm not going to show you guys my car number. <laughs> For some privacy issues. So that's the ticket. So you need to pay when you are packing. You can't pack just for free so you don't get booked. 
then end up paying double one. It's better I just pay the simple one. So right now we're going to the city center of Leicester. Yes, they do. Hand people. So that's my small. Hello. <laughs> so I might stop at Boots to get some skincare product but it depends I might stop I might not so if I'm gonna stop at Boots I will take you guys people come and sit down let's wait for daddy to come you know where we're gonna get into summer but hopefully because I'm so bored and tired of this winter seriously everywhere is just so messed up and all that say so I'm a boot at the moment let me see what's that all in one expiring date will mm. Fortunately, bottle and label is recycled. This bottle has a future. Unfortunately, this thing hasn't got any expiring date. I don't know which one to go for. This one is uh, vitamin C. And this one, I don't even know which one to go for. Maybe I should go for the vitamin C. So I've just picked one of their products. Um, makeup. It says it's makeup remover. There's this thing I'm looking for. It says it's um, serum. So this is the one I'm looking for. This one. But I can't find it. So I'm just going to ask one of their customer service to see if they can search for it for me so that it's gonna make it easy for me oh yeah Sarah I have been here yeah so yeah I think oh yeah foaming facial cleanser so this one is hydrating cleanser oh I've seen the foamy one Thanks, Babel. So, foaming cleanser for normal to oily skin. Has anybody used uh, this product? Please tell me where the expiring date is located at. Because I can't even locate it here. I'm just scared because I haven't used any of this product before. So, I don't want something that will end up giving me unnecessary acne or damage my 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 skin that i'm still managing you don't know didn't do let me have the phone so that i'll see where to open and where to stop it so let me check so i've seen the one that i'm looking for it says bubble so let me check how the bubble is uh, I beg why are these uh, what is it called this skincare product so expensive <laughs> thanks babe seriously you guys can't believe what happened the boots the boots I I went into someone of which I don't know who that is reported me to one of their maybe what we live in called that lady self one the, to the manager saying i was recording her face okay, so i was recording her face and all that like i, I don't understand and even even when they came to check the video i was videoing the ones i've already videoed they discovered the the lady's face wasn't even there like why would i even video your face your face is not giving me any money i don't understand like this is the worst experience i've ever had 
I don't know, like how do YouTubers do it? Do you go to every shop and start taking permission? You want to video something, you want to do something, or you just do what you want to do? I don't know. Because this thing really pissed me off. I ended up not buying what I intended to go there to get. It was so, so annoying. But anyways, I'm just I'm just going to stay positive because I don't understand. <laughs> Bibu, let's take this one. Which one, guys? That this one. one, please. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you. Oh, thank you, little lady. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. One as well, please. Thanks again, Daddy. Great. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, Cheers, guys. Thank you. All right. Bobby took me to. He says it's um. The perfume shop. So I'm Valentine's surprise. That's the perfume. This one. Did you change it on Miri? I walk her. Thanks, Bebo. It's so strong. Yeah, yeah. This way, Babel, come on. So you've got your Gucci floors. Daddy! Yes. This one's your Gucci floor. Like Sorry for the left. Want to show it smells nice, but kind of like an alcohol. Baby, make it. I like this one, but only Shika Mania. I don't know. I did this one. Is she had too strong? Oh. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I, um, I don't have time. I'm picking my daughter up from school, so I'll just go for it. Oh, he wants to see it. Yeah. Just this green Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can. Oh my god, god. I never I'm gonna be going for the small size of this new yeah. Valentino product. This foundation really blended with my skin. I don't know if it's the camera of the phone or just the blending. So guys, I've just got in one. So the name of the perfume is Valentino. According to what I said the product just came out newly so and it smells really nice but i chose the small bottle although my husband was persuading me to get the big bottle but i just chose the small bottle because it's my first time trying it and i want to see if it's gonna last long because some perfumes when you buy them they don't last long they only smell that moment you spray them on your body and that's it so i just want to see how this one is gonna look like and smell how long it's gonna last and hopefully it stays longer than expected then when it finishes i might try getting a bigger bottle hopefully let's see and i hope you also got his over i'm gonna show you guys the product when we get home and um uh, we're gonna have like a chit chat so but for now we're going to pick summer up from school he's almost 
three o'clock. It's going to three o'clock now. So we will go and pick her up from school first and then get to the house. Then down, then down, then down. So mama, this is your Valentine's gift for mommy. Hey mama. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I made it here, oh, thank you, Mama. <laughs> that's the Valentine's this day they made from school. I made the tomato. I did the tomato. I know, it's nice. I do not I don't Wow, Mama, that's beautiful. Well done, Mama. Hope you had a nice summer school today. Yeah. There's no glitter. They didn't apply glitter today. No pink today. No lipstick today. Uh, I just made a simple makeup because I was rushing, so I had to make a simple makeup. <laughs> oh my god, this is my baby. She loves makeup. Anytime I make up like this, you just be monitoring this my face. You tell me which one and which one I did not apply. <laughs> Mama. Hello guys. Um it's I think it's 10 p.m. now. So I'm almost getting ready to go to bed. So I'm going to be talking and um taking my makeup off. So that I finished from where I went um, earlier on in the morning to came back and um, Hobby came to pick me up so he suggested that we, we should go to the Leicester City market to get some to get some vegetables and some fruit so after we finished from that place when we got some fruits and vegetables so I've been looking forward to get this skincare, some of these skincare products because I want to start doing this um, skincare thing. If let me see if it's going to like improve my my face for me and all that. So we went to Boots to get this skincare stuff and then um, it got to a certain point funny enough all the products i needed because i had the pictures of each of them in my phone so all the pictures all the products i needed they had no expiring date so i was kind of like shocked which kind of product were like why would you buy products that doesn't even have an expiring date that you you don't even know when the product should still be used or when the product shouldn't be used so i got the product and uh, we still continued because i think i was supposed to get like six or five different products for the skincare routine and um it's very funny seriously so it got to a point where we went to get one of the product so you know in this country everybody's looking for a means to make money through their fellow human being like when you're driving someone will just be and pissing you off so you hit the person and you end up you know getting he or she ends up getting money from you so that's just the way it is it, their, their system is just designed in this place so all of a sudden someone just walked up to me i was like excuse me you need to stop videoing what you're videoing so i said to the person why oh someone someone came and reported you that you've been a threat to them to their life i was i was really really speechless like am i holding any weapon or is there something in me that that person 
saw that made he i think they said it was a lady that made her think that i was a threat to her life so they were like oh you're gonna delete the video i said no i can't delete the video like why, why should i delete the video that i'm videoing i don't understand so the lady was like oh the lady said you were videoing her and all that so i had to pause what i was doing i said to the lady look for you to know that I wasn't videoing that lady. You're going to watch this video from beginning to the end. She was like, I said, I'm not fast forwarding anything. You're going to calm down since you want to check if the lady appeared in the video. So you're going to calm down and look at this video. I just recorded and see if that person face or body shed or whatsoever appeared in the thing I was recording. So after she watched everything, she realized it was just myself, my kid and my husband's face that was there like why would i even video your face what has your face got to do with my video not as if if your face appear is appears in my video is gonna make me blow up or it's gonna give me money or whatsoever seriously i was so mad i was so and and I, i'm gonna mention the name of the name of the shop is boots so i really don't understand have you guys had any experience this kind of experience with with boots shop because this is the first time I'm having such a weird experience going to a shop and someone walks up to you and telling you you're being a threat to their life because you're making a video. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand. Why would I be a threat to your life? What has your personality got to do with me? Like, what, what has your living got to do with me? Not as if you add any value to what I'm doing or not as if you... you're gonna make my video to get up to 1 million views or whatsoever i don't understand i was so mad so then the security came out from nowhere uh, you need to delete the video this and this that and that first of all the guy was just raising so i said to him you're raising your voice you, you you you're becoming high you're very high at this minute and listen if you want to talk to me if you want to speak to me you need to calm down so there's no point being high and let me remind you one more thing i'm not deleting this video and you have no right to send me out of the shop because why will you send someone out from a shop when they haven't done anything wrong they haven't done anything suspicious anything that shows that what they are doing is wrong or is against the rules so i said to them i know the rule of this country so you're not going to tell me what the rules are i know the rules that's one thing with these people you need to know your rights if not they're going to overshare i just i just i just saw it as them being racist because you can't tell me if that lady who reported me the person doing the recording in my place was her fellow whites she wouldn't go and report the person why can't you walk up to me and tell me, oh, you're not comfortable with what I was doing. I don't want to appear in your video, blah, 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 and stuff like that. S simple. Like, why would you go behind and be broadcasting it that I'm videoing you and recording you? I don't understand. Seriously, like, I ended up getting these silly two products because I told my husband I wanted to return this thing he was like no i should not mind what they said or what had just happened i should just get this ones we should continue i said no i don't have the spirit i don't have the mind the motivation to continue buying any stuff or to continue getting anything anymore so i ended up just getting this vitamin c cleansing water this one and this therapy foaming cleanser that was this two products was just a thing i got in the name of i we don't allow anybody coming to video our product like for christ's sake i'm buying these products i'm gonna end up buying the product like why why would i video something i'm not gonna buy that i was recording oh um if you want this if you i'm i'm, I'm not gonna come and be doing advertisements for you when you don't even pay me any money so I really don't understand. It was really, really bad. I said to the lady, you guys don't know how to approach a customer because my husband said to them, if you don't want people to come to your shop and be doing recording or whatsoever, you should put a sign. You guys should put a sign on your on in, in um of the door saying, oh, no recording is allowed. It's very simple. It's as simple as that. 
are not telling me i don't know like youtubers i really need your advice on this seriously i don't know like do you guys do when you go to a shop to buy something and you're vlogging you're recording do you take permission because this is the first time i'm having such experience do you take permission from them because even after that we then drove down to we drove down to first park because my husband wanted to get me some perfumes and all that we drove down to first park so seriously guys i don't understand though i don't understand these people for this place seriously like this thing really changed my mood it changed it just changed everything today being 14 february this valentine slash ash wednesday like i really don't understand hmm? i don't know i don't know have anybody had this experience i really don't know if my own case is different or people are just being racist unnecessarily or they are just speaking on you for nothing i don't understand honestly because if this is going to continue i'm going to start being rude to people that I, I i don't give a f seriously i'm going to start being rude to people like there's no point being nice to someone and they end up being rude to you like i don't see any point seriously i know I, I, I don't see any point oh babe let me talk another thing joe These people are just destroying someone's mood oh it's been long i even made my hair so i said i was gonna make my hair i was gonna make my hair but i'm gonna be making my hair this weekend so i got this uh, playful pineapple pony so that's how it looks like i don't know if you guys can see so that's it there guys for that one And that's my perfume. <laughs> I'm so excited, seriously. So we, I got this um, Valentino Donna. I don't know if you guys can see it. So, um, I just became sensitive to smell, so I don't like strong smell or that. So, I just told them I don't have any particular perfume in mind. They should just spray and let me perceive it and see if i'm comfortable with the smell and all that so they tried different one and um i think i loved this valentino according to what they said this product just came out newly it's a new product that just came out born in roman so this one is 67 pound so i had to get this one the bigger bottle is 130 something like that so my husband ordered me to get the big one. I said, no, since it's the first time I'm trying it, let me just get something small so that in case I don't like it, I'm not going to regret at the end. Because I've tried different perfume and I some some of the, some of them self, I ended up not using it. Were, I gave it to my girls and they're the ones using it. So there's no point me going to take big big bottles so i think this one are just samples they put they gave me this one is givenchy i don't know if you guys can see this givenchy my camera is really not doing justice to this thing so that's givenchy so oh i just perceived that one it smells nice I know what this one smells like. Fruity smell. So they just gave me these small, small ones to try out. So that's Givenchy. The Givenchy, I'll be Givenchy. I don't know. This one is the Valentino. This one is Armani Code. I think this smells like men's perfume. I think so. This one smells like um, Johnson baby powder. 
So this one is Elo in Tadit Givenchy. So that's it for this one. Oh, I see got some left. Oh, Jatol. This one is tall. Oh, I love I love this bottle, but I didn't try it to let me see how it smells. So that's the small small bottle they put there for you to try it out to see if you to see if you like it <laughs> nah i don't like this smell it's too It's too strong for me. And um, this job homie. <laughs> so got this job homie too. I didn't try it. So I didn't try this one. So got this one for hobby. I don't even know how it smells like. Let me see. Oh my god. I remember this smell. Oh my god. I remember this smell, guys. The last time I perceived something like this was when I was still a kid. When we went to the village during Christmas. And uh, one of my uncle that came back for Christmas was the one I perceived. Was it? I, don't, I, can't, I can't remember. But I remember I perceived this man when I was still a kid from someone, somewhere. I don't know. Well, let me try my own. I'm going to work tomorrow, so I'm going to spray it and then see if it's if it what's it though. So I'll spray it and see. So that's the packaging, the Valentino. So that's the bottle, guys. That's the Valentino's bottle. It's so cute. Seriously, like, it's just so cute. I just love the design and everything about it. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't know. So that's it. Where should I spray this one? Let me rest my nose before perceiving this one. My hair just turned me like that, hasn't it? It's not, it's not smelling the way I perceived it in the shop. Oh, I don't know. They give me another thing, but let's see, Sha. When I use it, I will know, and I'll give you guys feedback. So, guys, that's it for this video. I just, I just said I should share my experience about what happened. Like that really, really, really ups. Like that really, really... I don't know. It changed my mood today. It changed everything. But I, my husband was just trying his all possible means to just make me stay positive. He did a great job. <sighs> it's... um. 
it's 11 24 now so i need to go to bed because i'll be getting up six o'clock to start going to work and i'll see you guys in my next uh, vlog please don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel like come on why are you guys passing my video why are you passing my channel please you guys should subscribe now you guys should subscribe to the channel subscribe subscribe guys please try and subscribe introduce people to my channel my name is chester don't forget the name subscribe to the channel give us a thumbs up and don't forget to put your comment in the comment section below and turn on your notification button to get notified whenever i upload a video and i haven't been consistent but i have my reasons which i'm gonna share with you guys very soon so that's why you need to turn on your notification button and subscribe to the channel so you're always updated whenever i upload something new and i will see you guys soon